Honey, I just got off the phone and I have some very exciting news. Wait, actually, don't read my last message. Maybe I'll make it a big surprise. Too late. You've got to tell me now. What's the big surprise? No, I'll wait until tonight to celebrate with my two favorite people. Wait, is it what I think it is? Oh my gosh! What do you think it is? If you're right, then I'll come out and say it. Were his adoption papers officially approved? Yes! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yay! I know! We've been working towards this for months, ever since we got him as a tiny little baby. Oh, our little Simon. He was so small and now he's officially our kid. I know! Sorry, I know that usually people have these big celebrations and really happy videos that they put on the internet afterward. But I was so excited when I got off the phone with our lawyer. I just couldn't help myself. No, it's fine. I'm really happy. I'm so glad that you told me. I can't believe it. I am so excited. Me too. We've been working towards this for so long. I'm just glad that it happened before his first birthday party. Now we can celebrate both of those things together. It's already next week. This works out perfectly. I know that he doesn't really understand what being officially our adopted son means, but it's still exciting for everyone else. Have you told anyone else? No, of course not. I wanted to tell you first and foremost. I mean, you're his mother. Who else was I going to tell first? This is amazing. I can't believe that we actually did it. We now have a son. I mean, he's been our son since he came into our care when he was less than a month old, but now it's official. That will make hospital visits so much easier. Not to mention, we can now enroll him in different programs and everything. This is going to be fantastic. I know. Now we need to invite everyone out to celebrate. They don't even know that we decided to adopt him. We were just supposed to be foster parents. But I swear, when I held him in my arms for the first time, I knew. I felt the exact same way. Not to mention that I saw it in your face and I knew that we were going to end up adopting Simon. He's just the most precious baby boy. God, I wish I was at home right now so I could celebrate with you two. Don't worry, I'll go out and get some things and make us all a really nice dinner. We'll celebrate together as a family tonight, even if he doesn't really understand anything. I'm so happy, honey. He's officially our son. Me too, babe. I'm so excited. I mean, if you'd asked us five years ago if we knew that we'd be married and fostering kids and adopting our first child, we would have never believed them. <laughs> Yeah, but it felt like the perfect time. I mean, we've been married for almost six years. And after finding out that we couldn't have children, we figured a way through it. And now we have our beautiful little Simon with us. Exactly. I wouldn't want anything else except for our perfect little family. Wow. I can't believe that I have to go back to work after this. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Oh yeah, is it okay if I phone my parents? No, wait, I'll wait until you're home and we can tell them together. Okay, sounds great. They'll be so excited. We'll have to make sure that we go see them in the next couple of months. Yeah, I mean, they've been so great to be willing to fly out as much as they have to help us in the first couple of months. And now they're coming to his birthday. We can officially say that their official grandbaby is here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they also knew that we were going to adopt Simon. What about you? You mean my parents? Yeah. Well, I can't say that they'll be as excited. I mean, you already know how much they fought us tooth and nail when we first announced that we were going to start fostering kids. I really don't understand what their problem is. Their problem is that they really wanted a kid that was genetically their grandbaby. I mean, they were probably more heartbroken than us when we found out that we couldn't conceive on our own. Yeah, but I just think it's so messed up. I mean, any kid that we have is going to be their grandbaby. Doesn't matter whether they are biological or not. I know, I know, trust me. At least I have my sister and her husband to give them grandbabies that they'd be excited about. Don't say that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Are you sure? Because the way I remember it, they nearly refused to hold Simon when we first got him. They've always been really old school and have weird ideas about what family is. They don't agree with the idea that family can be people that you're not related to. But now Simon is related to us. We're legally his parents. I know, and I'm so incredibly happy. But I just don't want you to get your hopes up. That just because we adopted Simon that my parents will be fully on board with it. They're weird and they're controlling. 
And if they don't like something, they'll let everyone know about it. I know. I just wish it wasn't true. I mean, what will we do if they refuse to accept him as their grandchild? I don't want to raise him with grandparents that refuse to even hold him or acknowledge him as their grandchild. I mean, he'll be miserable. Kids can pick up on these kinds of things, you know. That's true, but we also don't know for sure whether or not they'll reject him. Let's just invite them to his birthday and we'll make the announcement there to everyone. And we'll see once and for all whether they're grandparents that we'll have in his life or not. What do you mean by that? Are you really willing to cut off contact with your parents if they don't accept him? Absolutely. You and Simon are my family. You're absolutely sure? One thousand percent. I love you. Seriously, there is no other person that I would have wanted to have a child with. I love you too. Now, let's stop talking about these things and celebrate the fact that Simon is officially ours. Yes. Okay, I'll go to the grocery store and pick up a few of our favorite things. We're going to celebrate tonight and phone all of the people who will celebrate with us. Exactly. Hi, Selena. Henry and I just wanted to invite you and the rest of the family to come celebrate Simon's first birthday with us next week. Simon? You know, Simon, the baby we've fostered. He's still with you? Wow. The system must really be broken. I don't think it's right that you should care for someone else's baby for that long. Oh, well, the system is broken for a lot more than that. Um, can we count on you and the family coming by? We'll have to see. Are you sure? I mean, it's his first birthday. We'd love him to be surrounded by family. Well, isn't the point of you looking after him is because he doesn't have any family? You know what I mean, Selena. Fine. Yes. I'm sure it'll be fine then. How is Simon doing? Uh, he's doing really well. I'm really glad you asked. Yes, yes. And he's turning one? Yes. Are you sure he needs a birthday party? What? Well, the family and I were looking for an excuse to get together anyways. And, well, Simon's birthday does line up perfectly. I mean, yeah, it'll be nice to have the whole family together. My parents are coming to celebrate as well. Oh, really? See? This will be a nice celebration. Exactly. I'm so glad that you think so. I know that Simon will really appreciate being showered with love that day. It's his first birthday after all. I know he won't remember much of it, but I have a feeling that babies know about these sorts of things. And when he looks back on the photos from the day, he's going to feel so happy that we loved him so well on his first birthday. Wait. You don't actually plan on keeping him for that long, right? If so, then there's definitely something wrong with the system if you're going to have to deal with him for that long. I mean, we're not really dealing with him. We love him and we're taking care of him. Yes. I know that you and that son of mine have such a noble quest that you're on to take care of these children, but I'm saying that maybe if we could just cut out his celebration and had one of our own then maybe that would be better. What the hell does that mean? Ugh. I'm saying he's one year old. What is he going to remember, really? Okay. I know that you don't really mean what I thought you meant. I'm just reading this wrong. We're celebrating Simon's first birthday party, and I would really appreciate it if all of his family were around to celebrate with him. It will mean a lot to him someday. Yes. But it's not like we're going to be around for that someday, right? I mean, he's a foster kid. You give them back eventually, right? I mean, technically. But that doesn't mean we should skip out on all the love and affection for him now. I just think that this whole thing is a bit unhealthy. I can assure you that it isn't. Henry and I are fine. We're happy, in fact. Ecstatic. And why is that, Spring? It's not my place to say, but still, it would mean a lot to both of us and to Simon if you came out to celebrate his birthday. We'll be there. Don't you worry. Really? Okay, that'll be good. And we can put behind all this nonsense, right? I don't want any comments that Simon's not real family 
or whatever at his birthday. I mean, I would just be telling the truth. He's not our family. He's not related by blood. I mean, he doesn't even look like you or Henry. So, a lot of kids don't look like their parents. We live in a different world. Judging a family based on blood just isn't right. Actually, it is. Not in Henry and my family. We determine family through love and connection, not by blood. And that's your lifestyle, which is fine. But that doesn't mean that my family and I are going to abide by that. Fine, whatever. Just leave those types of comments at home. I don't want to be upset on my own son's birthday. He's not your son. And the sooner you realize that and comprehend it, the better it will be when you have to give it back someday. He is my son. Whether or not we give him back, he is our son. Yeah, yeah. Just send over the details of what time the party will be and we'll be there. Am I good to bring some things along? Yes, Simon loves dinosaurs and his favorite color is orange. I meant food and drinks. You know what? Let me handle everything. We'll handle the decorating and the reservations and the activities. We'll have it all handled and figured out. Are you sure? Because you don't really know Simon that well. It'll be fine. Just let us handle everything, okay? Uh, okay. So, you're saying my mother just offered to take care of everything? I mean, is that possible? I think so. I'm not entirely sure what happened. It was like we were going back and forth. First, she said that Simon is not our real child. And the next minute, she's offering to set everything up? I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Okay, that's weird. Maybe we should go ahead and have backup plans just in case. I don't know what my mother is planning. Well, I don't think she's planning anything bad. Maybe she wants to step up once she realizes how serious we are about Simon. I'm not sure. I know my mother. And what she said about having a family celebration kind of makes me think that she's not going to get anything for Simon. She's probably going to take over our party and make it for herself and our family. Are you serious? She wouldn't actually do something like that, would she? I don't know. That's kind of what it sounded like to me. I mean, did they even care to ask what Simon's favorite things are? Or what we had planned already? No. Oh, God. What if she is going to try and hijack the party? I mean, why else would you try and boot me out of the planning? Maybe we should just tell her that we adopted Simon. I don't know how that's going to go any better. This is turning out to be such a mess. I know, I'm sorry. I wish my family wasn't like this. I mean, I would love it if we lived closer to your family. Your parents have always been so supportive of us. I mean, they flew over here like three different times in those first couple of months. And they stayed for like a week at a time to help us out with the baby. I know. They're amazing. I kind of wish that we lived closer to them too. I mean, we've kind of figured out how to have a baby, but it still would be nice to have actual family support, you know? Someone to babysit who was family so we could go on date nights someone who I could talk to and know that they actually care. I mean, we can change that. Very funny. Please don't get my hopes up like that. No, I'm serious. I mean, if I was thinking it and you were thinking it, then we might as well do it. We can move. My company has an office over there that I can work in. And I'm sure that when Simon is able to do full-time care, you could find a teaching job there. Wait, are you serious? You would actually move our family to be closer to my parents? Absolutely. I mean, it's like you said, we're pretty good at taking care of Simon, but I would love to have support as well. It's not easy taking care of the kid. And if we plan on having more in the future, then it'll be so great having your parents there. Your parents who wholeheartedly love our child as their grandbaby. Stop. You're going to make me cry. Are you serious? Well, let's think about it. Let's take a week to really let the possible decision sink in. And then we'll decide if we want to move. I mean, we'll see how my family reacts at the birthday party as well. Because if they do mean to actually step up and take an interest in their grandchild's life, then that means we don't have to move. Okay, yeah, I agree. But you're absolutely sure about this. 
I've been thinking about it since those first couple of months, and I know you probably have as well. I'm sure that it will be the best move for our family. You're amazing. I literally love you so much. I love you too, babe, and I'd do anything for our family. Hi, I just wanted to check in to see how the party preparations are going. They're going just fine. We booked a room at the Hudson Hotel. I think it should be enough room for the party, don't you think? The Hudson Hotel? I mean, that's a bit fancy for a one-year-old birthday party, don't you think? Sure. Whatever you think. You know, you don't need to hover. We've got this under control. I've done enough parties. And I assume that you and my son are making an appearance? Well, of course, it would be pretty weird if we didn't show up. Sure. Are you sure you don't need any help? I'm just... Everything will be fine. Don't you trust me at all? What kind of daughter-in-law doesn't trust her own mother-in-law? Everything will be fine, okay? I'm sure that it will be. I'm just a bit concerned because you haven't really asked me anything about Simon. Ugh. What would I need to know about Simon? I don't know. Maybe his favorite color or favorite activities to do? What kind of food does he like? Well, it's not like you know everything about him, do you? As a matter of fact, we do. We are the ones raising him. So naturally, we know everything there is to know about him. You're absolutely sure that you don't need my help with anything? No, just leave it alone. We've got this. Okay, fine. I seriously can't believe you. What? Where did you and Henry go? You were supposed to be handling a kid's birthday party, but you didn't do anything for Simon. It doesn't matter, does it? Yes, it does. This is supposed to be Simon's birthday party, but you hijacked the party and made it into some family get-together. Family reunion? Which makes you and Henry disappear and is very rude. Well, we're obviously not staying. Not since you made it clear that you don't care about us or Simon. Nonsense. That's not true. We care about you and Henry. But what about Simon? He's not actually your kid. So he's not actually my grandchild. You're horrible. You're just fostering him. Even then, he is our kid while he stays in our house. That's what fostering is. But we're not even just fostering him. Not anymore. What do you mean? It means that Henry and I adopted him. Simon is officially our kid. No, you didn't. Henry wouldn't dare. Not without talking to me first. Ha! That's funny. You never made it a secret that you don't approve of Simon for whatever reason. Why would we ask you for permission to do something in our lives? We love Simon. He's been our kid since the first moment we held him in our arms. Just because you don't recognize that doesn't mean we don't recognize that. And I'm so sick and tired of you guys disregarding him. We're done. Fine. See, this is why we had to take the reins when it came to the party. I know exactly what my family wants and needs. Simon is your family. No, he isn't. Neither are you, which is why I had to be the one to plan the party. You're not related to even one person in my family by blood. You were not and never will be a part of our family. Great. You'll never see me again now as I'm leaving forever. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah, Adam and I had a serious discussion about it. We've become new parents and we really needed your support. But none of you wanted to help us. It's really messed up how you all doubted that Simon is our true child just because he's not our flesh and blood. Let me tell you, that doesn't make him any less of our child. So we've made the decision to move somewhere where we can find the support we need and where Simon can receive all the love he deserves. Wait, hold on. What exactly are you saying? Are you taking Adam with you? Surprisingly, it was Adam's idea. He was the one who brought it up first. We've decided to move to be closer to my parents. 
your parents, but they live in a completely different city. Wow, I'm surprised you knew that. Yes, they do. Adam and I are taking our son and relocating to a different city, one where we'll have the support we need and where we can distance ourselves from you all. You don't mean that. You wouldn't actually take my son away from me. No, but your son wants what's best for his own son. So goodbye and enjoy your little party. Henry rallied our friends and family with a mass text, inviting them to join us in celebrating Simon's birthday at our place. We had a backup plan in case and our house transformed into a vibrant kids' party venue, complete with decorations, games, and tasty treats. The day unfolded with pure joy as we immersed ourselves in honoring Simon's special day. Laughter, excitement, and a deep sense of togetherness filled the air, reminding us of the power of a loving family. Witnessing the genuine happiness and affection from everyone present truly warmed our hearts. But the highlight was a moment that would forever be etched in our memories. Amidst cheers, tears of joy, and overwhelming emotions, we proudly announced Simon's official adoption and wholeheartedly welcomed him into our family. The room erupted with celebration, tears streaming, hugs exchanged, and voices ringing out in jubilation. In that magical instance, it became crystal clear that family extends beyond mere blood ties. It's not about the size or structure, but the bonds formed through love and support. Wrapped in a warm embrace, my parents joined us radiating love and pride, symbolizing the strength and unity of the family we had cultivated. It served as a powerful reminder that life's most precious moments are meant to be shared with those who genuinely care. Our chosen family, comprising friends turned siblings and steadfast relatives, proved they were the ones who truly mattered. Together, we revealed good times, weathered challenges, and crafted countless cherished memories. Ultimately, it's not the quantity of relatives or the grandeur of the occasion that defines a family. It's the unwavering love, loyalty, and support that forge unbreakable bonds. That day, we realized we had found our tribe, those who chose us just as much as we chose them. Immersed in the warmth of their love, we understood that family is not simply a matter of blood, but a matter of heart.